Hey guys, it's Alex here. So today I'm going to show you how to create a power app that will grab your current location and display it on the screen. So the first thing you want to do is come to make.powerapps.com. Then you want to hit create, blank app, hit the blank canvas app, create here. It doesn't really matter which one you click here. Just for, I'm just going to click phone and then I'm going to call it coordinates. I'm going to hit create. So now that we've got a blank canvas here, so what we need to do is add a button and some labels. So first hit go to insert and then click button. I'm just going to move that in the middle there. Then I'm going to insert again, go to text label, just move that down here, insert again, text label, Bring that underneath there. And then I'm also going to add a third one as well. Okay. So first of all, I'm just going to name the button um, and the labels. So what we're going to do is just name it um, button um, get coordinates. And then for the labels, I'm going to name this label, uh, label latitude. And then for this button, I'm going to name it label longitude. And then this final final label here, I'm going to name this uh, label coordinates. Okay, so that's all of our labels and buttons um, given a name. So what we need to do now is we need to go to the button, go to advanced, and then the on select action. This is where when we press the button, it's actually going to do something. So I'm going to hit set open brackets i'm going to type in um the variable name so i'm going to hit current location and the value is going to be um location which is how this will grab the location and then i'm going to close brackets and there we go so that's that's done. So the next thing we need to do is basically in the labels display the latitude, longitude, and then I'm going to display both the latitude and longitude in one text string here in this label. And I'll show you why in, an, in another video. So we're gonna come to the latitude label and in the text box here what we want to do is change this so so we're going to come down to the text box here I'm going to get rid of this open parentheses I'm going to type in um, latitude So that's just going to show the actual text latitude there. And then we'll go and just what we're going to do now is get the actual uh, text of the latitude. So current location, which is the variable we named in the button dot latitude. Close brackets. Okay, now what we're going to do is do the same for the longitude. So make sure we clicked on the label longitude. Get rid of the text. Open parentheses. Longitude. Close. 
I'm going to hit and text open brackets current location which is our variable dot longitude close brackets okay okay so what we need to do now is in this final coordinates box we type in text open brackets we're going to do current location again which is the variable dot latitude close brackets then we, what we're going to do is we go into it and and again and then text open brackets current location dot longitude close brackets now what we're doing here is we're getting the latitude and the longitude and we're separating it, separating it by a comma. Um, the reason why we're doing this is so that we can pass this into um, anything we want and I'll show you that in a, in a later video. So right now we've got everything we need so we'll just head towards the app so I'm just going to save and then what I'll do is I'll publish it to the phone and I'll show you what the results look like on the phone reason why I'm not doing it in the browser is because I don't have my browser location enabled. Now, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that your browser location is enabled, or if you're using it on the phone, that your phone location is enabled by default. Otherwise, this won't work at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is open up Power Apps. I'm going to open the Coordinates app that we've just published. Now at this point, if this is the first time you've opened up an app in Power Apps that has enabled location, it will ask you to enable location. So what you want to do is hit that. Uh, if that is not clicked, then it won't work. Uh, if it doesn't come up, what you might need to do is go into your settings and then enable location for Power Apps itself. So now if I hit the button at the top, as you can see, the latitude and longitude fields are filled in, as well as the field at the bottom there. So there we go. That's how to get the latitude and longitude on Power Apps. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be making lots more videos on Power Apps, Power BI, and Excel. So keep an eye out for those videos. Thank you.